guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, karibu sana. In today's video, I want to do um a short morning routine with you guys and I just thought of showing my face on here. So, it is a chilly <laughs> Friday morning. I am recovering from a cold and I want to put my house in order. I don't know if you can see that. I can see judge. So, I want to prep the house before I can leave for work, have breakfast, shower, all that. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. thing i want to do is scrub the toilet with hapik and i like to do that on a daily basis as this is the toilet that everyone uses in the house oh i need to empty that bin so yeah i'm going to soak it in hapik leave it for 20 minutes and then come back later to scrub it i cried with you now will not be alone i lied for you i tried for you you in my side i keep all the words you said to me i get you get you get you get you on your knees rewrite all the things you said that i should be i'll get you get you get you now you beg me please hey now i'll stay away you were never meant to save me now i'll stay away i'll hear you say you're sorry So this is how the dining room normally is on a daily basis because we work from there a lot. That's why we have the two placemats over there. Yeah, just a simple setup, but it works for us. And underneath the main door, there's normally like a gap between the door and the floor. And that's why we will put that rug over there so that it can trap like the excess cold coming into the house. Dining room is a bit untidy we have socks and teddy bears and my money bag like everything is everywhere let me tidy this up a bit it's 
much better someone has an actual place to sit on this other side is much neater there's like no trash on that side because nobody sits on that couch we all like to snuggle on the l couch ladies and gentlemen this is my breakfast we don't have bread in the bread basket so i'm having leftover rice beef beans a banana and then over here i want to make a cup of coffee and then told you guys that i have a cold and these are the meds that i'm taking so i want to eat first and then i can take the medicine later shopping because we have like two sachets left thank god we are going for shopping tomorrow because we cannot survive without coffee in this house oh i should have been warm in this put some water here because i that's the only way i can take this let me show you how they do so these are two tablets yeah so that's how they look like fun fact i do not hate medicine i prefer medicine to sindano because who likes being poked poked by sharp objects not me come to you come to you your mind 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 it's right 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 it's right 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 now since i don't like the taste of medicine after food <laughs> i'm going to have this first and then i'm just going to continue or start eating Now that's out of the way. Imagine I cannot eat bananas on their own. I have to eat my bananas with rice. So that's what I'm going to do with these strings. So yeah, here is my breakfast. Why are you hiding? Tell me what must I do? Come to you, come to you. This is the time I'm normally catching up like on my social media but since you guys are there helping me feed <clears throat> or rather I normally use the phone to get to my social media but that's what I'm using to vlog so I can't do that hmm. and my neighbors have decided this is the perfect time for them to leave the house <laughs> I can't keep up with uploading two videos a week because doctors right now is so demanding. I get back home so late and yeah, most of the time during the day I spend it over there. I'm not around so I can't be creating content uh, this side and still be there at the same time. It's not possible. So until I figure out like... um. A perfect timing situation thing i don't know until i figure myself out we are going to be having one video one lengthy video in a week so that i can also have time like to plan the content that i'm putting out there so that i just don't put 
put out content just for the sake of it so comment down below what you guys like watching from me i know majority of you are following me because of recipes most of you also following me because of cleaning and organization content and what is it diys but i can't get to diys right now because those ones need time and i don't have that right now so yeah tell me what else i can create for you and i can add it to the weekly vlogs if that makes sense mm. that was so filling i should be having like food food for breakfast because i think it can keep me full for a long time and i would have to snack on like stuff a doctor's or rather finish all the chicken <laughs> a doctor's kitchen oh i'm very good Now I want to probably shower. I think I'm going to plug the phone to charge as I shower and then I can do dishes and be out of the house. So this is the state of my kitchen. As you can see, my counters are dirty. At least I don't have clean dishes on the rack. I have dirty dishes. Then this other side look at the laundry area is a mess so i want to clean the dishes and then i can start uh, cleaning the countertops kitchen is clean the counters are disinfected 
no dirty dishes in the sink so i can come back in the evening and cook comfortably <laughs> there is no clutter at least um i'm going to remove the arimis from there the cooking top is clear and the gas is clean as well so now the only thing that's left for me to do is to shower and get the hell out of here ignore all the <laughs> love hearts this is sean's work he removes the stickers from the pink lady apples anytime he eats one so he just sticks them up there and we let him because for peace So this is the shower gel i'll be using today it's suave uh, the ocean breeze i love this stuff i don't want it to finish and i am definitely buying another uh, shower gel from this brand when i go to the supermarket tomorrow because this thing this thing smells like pure luxury it's it's so good you should definitely get yourself one washed my face in the bathroom now all that's left to do is just brush and turn my face I have like 10 minutes to spare and I want to show you some of the clothes that I thrifted this week so number one is this cute uh, fleece sweater it's like a crop-ish sweater but it's so warm and it feels so good the other thing that I thrifted are these velvet pants the ones you saw me earlier wearing today the ones you saw me wear earlier in the vlog are also from the same shop that I got these ones. Um, so these were like 200 bob. And then this one I got from Dorcas, Apple. How can I describe it? If you're from Bigaton, you know Dorcas, the one who sells like a fleece, not fleece, but the fur coats. Yeah, this is, this is from her. And this was like 450 and then this one i got this is an army like jacket or coat it is so cute top-notch quality and this one together with the pants i got from the same shop um from an old lady i can't remember her name but her shop eco shop or gate pier so i got this for 300 the pants were going for 200 each and then i got clothes and these ones are from Maish or Tuni. Hi Maish. So this is a Zara shift dress. See that? I hope you can see that because this would be really stupid. So this is in the size large but I reduced it to my size. It looks so good. I never wear dresses but this one I will try. So this was 400 bob. And then now that we are Zara in, this is another Zara bodysuit that I also got from Maish. And this was going for 
300 it was in the swimsuits category but it's not a swimsuit it's a bodysuit yeah so that's how it looks it's so cute and the quality so great and then um what else oh before i get to the pjs i also got another bra you can never have enough and especially if it's black i always buy victoria secrets bras because these ones last like for a million years so yeah i got a black bra this one was going for 200 bob and then i got pjs so i got two pink pants one goes the way all the way to the bottom and this one has it has pockets i don't know why women we are so obsessed with pockets and then this is another one this is like a three-quarter one but they are so comfortable and then this is a short sleeved uh blouse or rather pajama one of the sets and then this is another one this is one of my favorites and i have green let me show you <laughs> so i have this green uh pj trousers that i think would match perfectly with this one or can even go with the pink ones like any yeah so that's everything i got the pj sets were going for 400 each so i got two sets so i'm going to wash this tomorrow i already showed you how i washed it clothes but yeah these these three are clean because i bought them a different day when i got this so yeah i will catch you up when i'm all dressed <laughs> so this is everything i have used today i have used this for my face uh Rolon from nivea the anti-perspirant from dove i use my partner's lotion and then i use this for my lips and then for my perfume i used the my burberry this one over here because this is perfect for day and night and it lasts like a million years on your body and since i'll be there until like 10 p.m i needed something that could stay for as long as like six or eight hours and this this is it water because it gets really chilly at night and yeah and i'll be out of the house let me get my sweater we have come to the end of the video guys and i have excluded sean's preparation to school because this video would have been a very long one so yeah that is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it please give it a huge thumbs up if you did Comment down below on what you do differently in the morning before you go to work, especially if you don't have a nanny like me. I would be interested to know, like, quick tips. How do you make this thing go faster, faster? Because, hey, it's a lot. And also, please subscribe to my channel. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. I keep forgetting it. I'm looking at myself instead of looking at the camera. So yeah, um, subscribe to my channel, we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers and I'll be really glad if you came on board to help me out. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate the love, I appreciate uh, when you comment on my videos, it really gives me the motisha to go on. Until next time, bye guys!